Okay, let's do an example of graphing together. Um, what I would like you to do is I would like you to try this problem on your own, pause the video, try and graph it on your own, find the solutions, and then watch to make sure you did it correctly. I'll give you a second to pause. Okay, assuming you've paused the video and you've tried this on your own, let's go through this. So remember, since we're not going to use a graphing calculator, we can do that in class. I can show you how to do that in class. It's a lot easier than graphing. But since we're at home and we might not have a graphing calculator, we're going to do it by hand by using the negative b over 2a method. So let's figure out our negative b over 2a. Our b is 4, so we're going to go negative 4 over 2 times 1. Since there's no number in front, it's a 1. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Okay, so we got a negative 2. All right, take that and plug it back in. Negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 5. Okay, negative 2 squared, that's a positive 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 minus 5. Okay, 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. So our vertex is at negative 2, negative 9. Negative 2, negative 9, way down there. Now remember the next step is to find the y-intercept. All we have to do is imagine there are no x's because if we plug in 0, the x's go away. So if we go 0 plus 0 minus 5, we get minus 5. So minus 5. All right, now here's the fast part to find another point. This guy goes over 2 and up 1, 2, 3, 4. So that means there's another point on this side that's over 2 and up 4. Over 2 and up 1, 2, 3, 4. There's another point. But again, we need a point that's on the x-axis. So we can tell already that this is going to have two solutions, but we want to know what those solutions are. So let's test another point. Let's test, oh, negative 6, just for fun. So let's make our little table. I'm not going to make it as big as the last one because that took up a lot of space. So let's try negative 6 and, oh, 2. So if I plug in negative 6, have f of negative 6 equals negative 6 squared plus 4 times negative 6 minus 5. Okay, I'm running out of room, but that's quite all right. Okay, negative 6 squared is a positive 36. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24, minus 5, okay. So 36 minus 24 is 12, 12 minus 5 is 7, interesting. So that is not a point on the x-axis. Hmm. I wonder if maybe negative 5 would be one, since six is, negative 6 is not one and negative 4 is not one, maybe somewhere between there. Maybe negative 5 would be nice. That would be a nice one. So, with that said, I don't think 2 is going to be 1. Since it is symmetrical, I could have the same thing over here. Because this is, let's see, 1, 2, 4 over, and one, 2, 4, 6, 7 up. So we're going to go 2 over and 7 up. Let's see, so it's going to be over here. Okay, so we just need to figure out the last one. Um, I think maybe negative 5 would be 1 right here, and maybe 1. Let's try 1 because 1's going to be easier. 2's going to have the same value as negative 6. Let's plug in 1. Well, we're going to get 1. I'm just going to do it in my head since it's going to be easy with 1. 1 plus 4 times 1 is 4, minus 5. Well, 1 plus 4 is 5, minus 5 is 0. Yep, there it is. And I know negative 5 is going to be the same because it's symmetrical. Hopefully your graph looks better than mine. So our two solutions, we have to write them down. x equals negative 5 and 1. Let's circle it so they don't, so we, don't, we can see easily where it is. All right. So that is the first example. I want you to try the other two examples on your own. 
Remember, come to class the next day with these two done to gain full credit on your whisk. Um, if you need some help with these, I'm going to put these in a separate video. You don't have to watch them um, all the way through. If you want to try them on your own and then fast forward to the end of the video to see if you graphed them correctly, that is totally fine. But if you feel like you need more help with the process of graphing, how did I get all these different points, I encourage you to watch the video all the way through. But again, you don't have to. So try these two on your own, pause the videos, fast forward to the end, see if you got them right. All right, good luck.